Good morning. Good morning. Happy, Happy Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Krista. And I'm Jay. And this is Say I Do Forever. And we're cozying up with some coffee this morning. Yep. Grab your coffee and join us. We thought we'd do something a little different this morning. What are we going to do today, Jay? We are going to take you on a walkabout around our yard and into the vegetable garden to show you guys what we've been up to. Yes. And it is a very tiny yard, but we believe that less is more because <laughs> you have less to clean up. And it's big enough for me. We still can't keep up with it. So, nope. yep. But maybe, and we're standing here on our patio. So you want to show And them? yeah, real quick while we're here at the patio, this um, fountain was actually part of our dress shop. And it was gifted to me by uh, Jody Sabia, who um, was the hair salon there right before me and uh, she gave that to us so when we moved here or moved um, the shop I had to have, keep my fountain and uh, right now because of our cement work and stuff it's not working but it will be and I've been trying out all kinds of different potted plants this year that's been kind of my thing <laughs> I'm gonna switch you around so you can kind of show them that your oh, pot plants and stuff front. like this yes. okay so, here, um, our yard isn't perfect. We have a lot of work to do, but it, we were thinking, let's not do a tour because it's not perfect. But you know what? When is it ever perfect? So, <laughs> let's just go on a tour and see some of the things that we've been doing. Um, I, we put in a bunch of more like seedlings, wildflowers, uh, just to fill that area in because it was completely empty and it was a, something different before the cement was added. Um, and then we got our little bird garden here where we'd like to watch the birds through our window and stuff like that. Um, and my son, Joshua, got me that rose bush, which I need to prune because um, it just got finished. But it's a climbing, it's kind of like a pink, almost red, almost neon. And it's going to climb up, which is going to be really, really cool. And then we just have little of this and a little of that pots and things we're trying foxglove that um we can't seem to grow here and when we do they die but this one's got new new growth so maybe maybe this year this will be our year will it make it through winter we don't know we are here in idaho so we're i think we're zone 6b um and so we do have a, a good frost but and then these are all of our quakies couple of them this year got attacked by some bugs and some um, disease but we're there they'll pull out of it um, we just have to uh, keep at it anyway we have a lot of mint that's for sure <laughs> it takes over and then this area over here oh we have some wisteria back there and just kind of our little Let me get that forest wisteria. little area that's the small wisteria and the Wisterias. big one is actually tearing up our the small one. Um, it's actually tearing up our privacy fence. But get in the shot here with me, Jay. <laughs> I don't want to see just me. <laughs> so, I'm here. And then this is like a little sitting area um, that we can sit kind of by our foresty area. And Jay and I like to sit there. Although we haven't had much time this year to yeah, sit there. We need much to. Time at all. Okay, goals. We need to sit, sit here more. Because <laughs> yes. actually, last summer, um, we through that COVID and all that mess. Um, we knew we had made a decision to close the shop, but we didn't know what was next. Yeah. And um, we just were in this, like, what's next? Praying all summer long, the struggle of, okay, if I close the shop, then what do I do? Yeah. And our house is so small, I didn't think I could sew. Um, we downsized, so we have a tiny house uh, on purpose mm -hmm. so that we have less to clean, um, less to heat, air condition, all that kind of stuff. Yep. But um, we were sitting right here, right? Yep. When we felt like we knew exactly what we were supposed to do. What was that? <laughs> that was making the garage that we had just a bunch of junk stashed in into her sewing studio. Mm -hmm. And here in a second, we'll show you that. And then on top of that, I had to build a shed because I took all the stuff out of the garage mm -hmm. and put it in, I had to put it somewhere. So we built the shed and then we redid the storage room. So anyway, that's kind of where we're at. Yeah. So we love to garden and we love oh, to yeah. hang out here. Oh yeah. And we have a squirrel coming to visit us right now down from the tree. Somewhere over there. <laughs> 
so yeah so we um maybe from here we could look back at the yeah at the I'll pan to the so yeah tell so us. so right there <laughs> i can point at it right there is what used to be the garage yep it was brown and had a green door it and was it, it was very it was hideous and it and, stopped right there yeah and so it stopped right here and then this is the the shed so mm -hmm. the studio the shed and then if i pan over here right here is the storage room not the barbecue but right here is the, the storage, storage room, room that, that we redid been... And then this right here is the patio that Ricardo Lopez did for us. Oh my us. gosh, he did such a good it job. It is stamped and it is amazing. Stamped and he is amazing. And colored or what do you call it? Dyed? Yeah. Dyed yeah, and it's, it's colored, so pretty. Colored and stamped. It's he awesome. did a great job. Yes. Yeah. If you guys want somebody to do cement, guarantee he'll do a yep, great Ricardo's job. Ricardo's your man. <laughs> yeah. And at one time we knew him when he was in high school. Yeah. When he was just. Uh, a, a, when he came to Krista's dress shop for tuxedos for proms yes. and stuff. Yes! Isn't it good? Yeah, it was yeah. so much fun. Yeah. So much fun. We made so many great friends and family members yep. while we were there at Krista's. And then <laughs> behind Krista is our dog, Duchess. Yes. Duchy. Hey. Duchy. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> she actually got shaved. She usually yeah. has really long hair, but just like I cut my hair off because of the heat. And yet this morning, it's cool, huh? It's nice out here today. It's really cool. It's really nice it's out here. It's about... 7 30 yeah. in the morning and yeah it's, it's kind of chilly a little i bit. like it yeah it's been so hot it's nice so i'm gonna flip flip okay. the camera around so we can follow you over oh, to the garden you gotta show back over here too um we've been trying elephant ears and back over there is a banana plant let's see if i can get the banana plant. Hmm. maybe you could flip the screen right there right there's the banana plant there's the elephant ears. So, yes, we are in Idaho, but we're in Idaho, but we're trying to make it tropical. Yeah. <laughs> They'll all be dead by the time we're trying. It was a good try. <laughs> it was pretty well it lasted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Talk about uh, being in Idaho and trying something. This poor thing laying on its side is my orange tree, which I had to dump when we got all that rain. Um, because it filled with water and drowned the poor little thing. So I dumped it to try to drain it and I need to uh, repot it. That, that's that, what an orange tree looks like what, in Idaho. That's what an orange tree looks like in Idaho. <laughs> it's pretty sad, but we that's all right. We keep trying. We want lemons, we want oranges, but it's really, really hard. Yeah. And then here's all of our raspberries. Um, we need to cut them back just a little bit. They're getting a little wild. <laughs> that just, do you like the raspberries? <laughs> you just want a belly rub, huh? Yeah. And then we have some peonies here. We had to quickly transplant them because um, we moved things when we did the cement. We lost some flower beds. And so some of them didn't really bloom this year. So I'm praying that next year they <laughs> come back. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then strawberries. Oh, and then I want to show them my um portage which i uh the, where the shed was and over was all my vegetable garden and because i had the shop i didn't have a lot of time to um it was just a big mess of vegetables most of the time but since i only had half i had to make it smaller and i thought you know what I, this year instead of just a vegetable garden i want it to be a pretty vegetable garden so i looked up um french kitchen gardens potager and um and so i kind of did it like that right now it's pretty much a jungle <laughs> jay did some cutting yesterday and helped us because we couldn't even walk just it. not on that right there <laughs> but that's, that's our, grapevine our i love grapevine, grapevine. see the pretty grapes there's yeah. grapes all along this they're fence. everywhere and look although the wind yesterday knocked everything over and but look at this i've got some heirloom tomatoes um and then i've got these ones here that are the kind of more narrow ones i have no idea i got a pack of seeds that was a mix and so i have no idea what i'm getting oh and you've got to see i got bell peppers i can never do bell peppers and this year i'm doing stuff i mean it's crowded and it's chaos 
<laughs> but it's more productive than my normal, you know, well thought out, <laughs> thought out, plotted out. And then I just threw some zinnias in here. And believe it or not, there is a little rose bush that Jay got me for Mother's Day in there somewhere. <laughs> I can't. Where did it go? I don't know. It oh, there it is. It's right. <laughs> It's right there. <laughs> we need to do some trimming this weekend. And some more bell peppers. And guys, I got watermelon this year. I normally don't get very much watermelon. That one's going to be really, really big. Um, I'm waiting. I don't know when to pick them. Maybe if you guys know when to pick the watermelon, tell Let's me in, in the, the comments. comments. Help me, guys. <laughs> the second one, too. Yeah, I don't know when to pick a watermelon. I've never actually done it. And then um, Jay built me this little chalice here out of kind of like, um, a, it's like a metal cattle gate. And so we have cucumbers growing up and over. And that has been really, really good. So, and then we got these funky beans. These were for fun. Look at these beans. They're called Yorkon. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with them, but they're so funny. <laughs> Look at that. That's a bean. It's <laughs> crazy. So they're a little bit crazy. I don't know if they taste good yet. And then the the sunflower planted itself from last year. It's way up there. We got lots of herbs and basil and um Oh, there's a really cool watermelon, or not watermelon, pineapple sage over here. So underneath all of this, I need to uncover it. This is a pineapple sage, and it smells like pineapple when you kind of rub your hands together. And then here's a lemon. Oh gosh, what is it? Lemon, it's not basil. Is it lemon thyme? Lemon thyme. And then on the other side is more of an Italian thyme. And then this right here is the craziest squash. So I planted zucchini back over here. I don't know if you can give them a hole. I planted zucchini in there and my zucchini wasn't coming up. We think that the squirrel stole it. And then we were planting grass. And in those spots, all of a sudden these other uh, kind of looked like zucchini was popping up, so I figured they replanted it. So I dug it up from over there and brought it over here. It is not zucchini. So I think our squirrels still with their containers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm waiting to see what it is. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. Do you want to? You want me to grab you some coffee, Jay, and we can sit down? Yeah. In the, okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, and our fountain. Yeah, I gotta get the fountain. There's a little fountain that we got. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll get on this side. You can see the fountain. That's the fountain. And there's your coffee. There's my coffee. Let me take the cover off. Here, let me. Hang on. Okay, we're trying here. We're trying to switch that around. <laughs> there we go. Now we're just sitting in the portage. That's right. I don't Having think I'm even saying that right. Potage. Potage. It's like pot garden, soup garden in French. That's all right. It's fancy. It's all good. <laughs> Very relaxing. So how was your week this, this last week? It was good. Yeah. It was good. I got a lot of sewing done. That was my big thing. I just was sewing for a lot of brides. So did you get caught up? No, I never caught up. <laughs> How about you? Uh, I got caught up with a lot of stuff actually mm -hmm. this week. This last week was a good week. Yeah. And I'm just I'm thankful that it's Saturday. Mm -hmm. A little bit of rest maybe today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, got quite a bit um, done. Uh, I got a lot of painting to do, like on the shed at the top of the mm -hmm. eaves, and I'm gonna get that done. Um, a little bit around your studio just a little bit in the patio yeah so yeah. there's always something we're, to do when you own close. a house yeah <laughs> we're close there's always something to do but yeah 
we're uh, we're gaining on it. It's getting closer than it was. Yeah. Which is exciting. It, it'll be nice to have some of this stuff done. Yeah, it will be. You know. So, what are your plans for Saturday? What are your plans for this weekend? Do you have your cocoa or your coffee or your tea? Are you cozying up? <laughs> you guys gotta go do something fun, right? Yeah. Did you guys? Uh, did you guys do any goal setting from we did That's our right. goal setting 101 yeah. um, Monday yeah. um, tell us in the comments how that's going or if you put a plan in action to do it or to go somewhere to do it or yeah um, or did you get in a big fight <laughs> <laughs> which happens the yeah. moment you start talking about money yeah anytime that yeah that mm -hmm. subject comes up there's going to be some tension but you can work through it you power through it you just make it happen and go from there so. yeah 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 hang in there because this monday we have planned um to do a topic about um communication and so helping you like seven steps to help you um, become a team and communicate and learn to understand each other um, so that yeah. you can then conquer those goals financially. Yeah. So if you're struggling with the, the um, goal setting or the talking about money, then uh, watch this next Monday and we'll talk about all of that. Yeah. I'm excited to talk about that because I think before you can even dive into the, the meat stuff, you got to work out some of the this stuff, the yeah. emotional stuff and, the, yeah. and all that. So I think that's important. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, we're just hanging out here and in the garden and we kind of just wanted to show you. What we've been up to? Yeah, we thought that'd be fun before we get stuck inside all winter. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to winter. <laughs> no, I really love the summer. I like to garden, even Spring, though summer, it turns fall. into a jungle and we don't always get it all done, but yeah. it's just fun to, fun release. Spring, summer, fall is the best. Yeah. I know a lot of people like to go snowboarding, but I'm older now. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts when you fall. <laughs> I'm not about snowboarding anymore, even though snowboarding was fun, but mm -hmm. you know. And the boys are older too, and they're they're off doing their own thing, so. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to go with them. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. Yeah, so. We're off to our day, yeah. and um, hope you take some time to be with your spouse and enjoy the weekend and uh, enjoy your week. Um, this is this time is all you have. It it'll, it'll go by really fast. Yeah. This year, so oh, are we cheering? No, I was gonna have you take my coffee cup so oh. I can hit the button. <laughs> but we can. <laughs> Cheers to something. Here's to a Saturday. <laughs> You were handing me. There we I, go. I didn't realize what you were doing with your coffee. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I got to have a hand free so I can yeah. hit that button. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love you guys, and uh, from our marriage to yours. Until this... next time, this is Jay and Krista helping you say, say I do forever. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. I would wave, but I have coffee. She has coffee cups. <laughs>